Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to the fur fourth video of the series on REST development in Delphi. This is the first one that starts focusing on REST server-side support in Delphi 2010. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm a book author, a books author based in Italy. I wrote the best-selling Master in Delphi series and I've recently self-published books on Delphi 2007 and 2009 and a new one on 2010 is in the works. I'm also a conference speaker, teacher, consultant, mentor on both Delphi advanced features and on web technologies. As I was mentioning, this is the fourth of a series of videos. Uh, in the first video, we built a very simple client then we proceeded to see the code from some more complex clients, including mapping software and Google spreadsheet integration. Now we are moving to a totally different side of the equation, which is building a REST server using the specific REST support provided by Delphi 2010, which is part of the data snap architecture and available in the uh, enterprise and architect editions of the product. For this demo, as I was saying, I'm going to create a brand new application from scratch and guide you th through the entire process. First thing, create a new application using the DataSnap Web Broker Application Wizard, which has been is new in Delphi 2010. Uh, there are several options. We can deploy our library within uh, a web server as a built-in module, as a CGI executable, or the option I'm going to pick is just go for a simple debugger-based executable that will let us uh, better test our uh, application before while we are developing it. I'm going to call the class name video demo and I'm not going to support authentication and I want to ha had, have a basic uh, server method class. Uh, let's go for a tip persistent class and include a sample uh, method. Okay, so what we have is a form, which is not really useful, it's just for the sake of the of the of running the application temporarily while we are using this debug architecture. We have a web module, that is what hooks our application to the HTTP request. Specifically, it has a web dispatcher that can intercept uh, requests getting into with a path that start with data snap and within the path that start with data snap if there is anything starting with rest this will be managed and processed like a rest uh, call so we're going to use the url to determine what to execute this web dispatcher is connected to a data snap server class that's a new component that was introduced in delphi 2009 for multi-tier architecture. This server lets you have one or more server classes hooked to it. A server class is just a placeholder, a class factory, and it has a very specific event, the onGet class, which lets you indicate which class is hooked to the components, uh, to this component, so which class is available from the server, uh, the system will automatically create object for of this class. This server class is in the third unit, which is where our actual code will end up into. Uh, the uh, server methods object is called tserver methods one. I'm going to change this in a second and has a single sample function called echo string. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use refactoring and rename tserver method one as video demo and this is going to change all over the places hopefully so we can now try to check if this worked and we can save our entire project in a temporary folder video demo whatever and just save everything in this folder and I'll just have to call the project video demo. Okay, 
so it seems to be working compiling fine and now we can what we can do is to change the implementation for this method and say echo is plus value plus space plus we double the value in the result and I'm going to read a second function that I call to call double and it's going to take as value an integer sorry and return an integer and you guess what is going to say result equals value times 2. So we have this very powerful REST server. We can compile it and we can run it to start uh, testing it. Of course, it is a server, has an HTTP server port, so we have to hook into it. Now this server is part of an existing architecture that's based on what's called the web app debugger that's been around for several years in Delphi as a tool to test locally, uh, local application. We can actually go to the debugger server manager so we can actually find out the name of our server which is called video demo, video demo is the internal object name and the executable name. So we can actually open this demo and see if it uh, returns some information. Oh, the information there is this is our data snap server. In fact, if we look to the source code of the secondary unit, uh, there was actually a default response, which is, oh, this is data snap server. So that's what we are actually looking at. Uh, at this very moment. Uh, but from the browser, uh, given the proper URL, we want to hook to the data snap rest contest and we want to call the video demo class and we want to call the echo string method and pass test as a parameter and our server is going to execute and return um, um, data structure in JSON format uh, the JavaScript serialization object notation and this is our actual result. So similarly we can call for another method which is double and we can pass a number 400, well let's say 4 and we should get back 8. Of course if we pass 8 well we get back 16 and so on and so on. So now this is the URL of the server and now given this URL we can get back to Delphi create a add to the project group a new project terminate the debugging session we're just creating a plain VCL forms application we need to remember to actually keep the server running. Okay, uh, now back to our client application and in the client application what we can have is an indie HTTP component and a button and here I'm using the new IDE Insight technology and say in the HTTP get and the URL oops sorry is the one I grabbed earlier let's say we want to double number 8 and then what we do is to do a show message of the result run this client application and we're calling back to the REST server and if we double eight we'll get back the result which is 16. So we've built the server application and we've built a client for this server application but we've also used the browser client to call into 
the rest of our application. We 